good day and welcome to SEO Bricks Insight where we talk about what's really going on in the world of the bricks. Now the Russian government have agreed on the construction of the Moscow St. Petersburg high speed rail link and it's going to begin construction before the end of 2024. It's also planned to be completed by 2028. Now those of you who think that Russia could not complete a high speed rail link in such a short time should remember that the Kerch Bridge over the, the sea that develop, uh, connects Crimea with Russia, which is the longest bridge in the world, over 17 kilometres, was built in just over two years. So building the railway is a similar challenge, and do remember that Russia is not the UK or the US, where rail projects are still at the planning stages decades after they were discussed. Now, the Russian Transport Minister, uh, Roman Starovoy, told journalists the, the first meeting after the signing of the concession agreement for the construction was held on July the 19th. There, specialists are determining the form of the project management, specifying the final route and the location of the transfer hubs. I mean, this is going to have a direct impact on the passenger flow, their comfort and their safety, the Minister of Transport emphasised. Now, the HSR, or the High Speed uh, Rail Link, is an electrified double-track railway line for the operation of trains at speeds of 200 to 400 kilometres per hour. Now, the Deputy Prime Minister uh, of Russia, Marat Kashulin, said that large banks, financial structures, the Moscow city and the regions have agreed on the financing of the building of the High Speed Railway. He said, there's a lot of work being done to create the special trains that are needed for the service, and according to Vladimir Putin, he says that plans to build the Moscow-St. Petersburg high-speed railway line and the seventh power unit of the Leningrad nuclear power plant are part of his plan to implement major projects at the highest level. He said the rail link and the motorway between Moscow and the northern capital are the flagship of economic activity in Russia. He recalled that the high-speed railway will pass through the territory of four regions of Russia where around 20% of the population lives, and that's around 30 million people. Now, before I continue, I'd like to make an appeal. If you like and enjoy my videos, you can help me fund my channel and the website SEO Bricks Insight that's full of great uh, articles that you can enjoy. You do this by making a small donation, and that's done by clicking on the thanks button at the bottom of the video screen. Now, everybody who donates does get a personal thank you from me. Now, the Transport Minister, uh, Savaliev, he said the HSR trains are now going to run every 10 to 15 minutes and the journey between Moscow and St. Petersburg is going to be reduced to 2 hours and 15 minutes instead of the current 4 hours. Now the, pro the project's finance is going to be carried out on the basis of a uh, concession agreement and public pa partnership. Now approximately 1.7 trillion rubles will be needed to build it and that's about 17 billion at current dollar exchange rate and the freight trains are scheduled to run in 2028. Now how will Russia's first high-speed railway be built, who will be involved and how will its creation affect the country's economy? Well it will link the cities of Moscow and St. Petersburg plus the Leningrad, Novgorod, Tver and Moscow regions. Now, according to the Russian Transport Slavia, reducing the journey time uh, between Moscow and St. Petersburg from 4 hours to 2 hours and 15 minutes will have a big impact on uh, passenger numbers. Also, the journey from Moscow to Tver will only take 39 minutes and from St. Petersburg to the hub of Velky in Novgorod will take 29 minutes. I mean, in addition to short intervals of every 10 to 15 minutes, there will be 12 stops along the route. I mean, in 2023, Russian Railways announced the completion of their design for the Moscow-St. Petersburg High-Speed Railway. Now, the total length of the line is going to be 680 kilometres, and the maximum speed of the trains will be between 250 and 360 kilometres per hour. Now, there's going to be two types of services, business and standard. Obviously, business will have a higher service class, and standard will include a number of ticket classes, including economy, family, tourist, and bistro. I suppose that's the bar car. I mean, the trains for the Moscow-St. Petersburg high-speed railway are planned to be built at the production facilities of the Sonara and Transmash Holding, who are both major Russian engineering companies. 
mean, the design's been underway since 2020, and according to Solaviev, the reported prototype of the Russian train will be created and ready by 2025, and the first 28 trains will be produced by 2028. Now, the construction of the railway is expected to be completed in 2028, and the moment the exits of the high-speed sections coming out of Moscow are already being created. Now, a meeting to discuss the plan for the construction of the railway, the Minister of Transport, creation of a new shareholder company for the project that's going to be involved in the finance and uh, implementation. Now, according to the Federal Agency for Railway Transport and the Ministry of Transport, they're going to have a concession grant there. Now, the financing structure is going to be the authorised capital of this condition here will be uh, officially 218.5 billion rubles, which is about $2.18 million. Bonds from the Gazprom Fension Fund is 290 billion. Loans from Sperbank, VTB, Gazprom Bank, who are participating in the project, 903 billion, which is about 99 billion. State support will be 609 billion rubles, of which 560 uh, will be a loan from the National Welfare Fund at a 3% interest rate with a payment by, repayment by 2050, and the rest is capital grants. I mean, according to Vladimir Putin, the Moscow-St. Petersburg high-speed railway is the starting point for the development of high-speed rail services all across Russia. He said, in the future, it's planned to create such services in the direction of uh, Ryazan, Kazan, Yekaterinburg, Adler, and the capital of Belarus, Minsk. Now, according to uh, Zolaviev, the railway uh, will be built in stages. Now, the construction of the first two sections and the purchase of new trains will be for the St. Petersburg as uh, a Leningrad section, uh, built on a concession basis and as a part of uh, Russian Railways investment program. It's planned to build the branch line uh, from Moscow, uh, which will also cost uh, 221 billion uh, through to uh, Tver. Now, Russian Railway is already earmarked 40 billion rubles for that, and it's also earmarked for the purchase of the first batch of the 28 trains on the basis of uh, what Transmash and Sinar can do. Now, one of the other possible uh, options for the financing is uh, to get some more cash from the National Welfare Fund. I mean, at the end of the day, the total investment in the construction is uh, estimated at 1.7 trillion. And of that amount, uh, it's not that much being needed at the moment. I mean, only 3 billion rubles, which is not only 30 million is going to be needed in 2024. And 299 billion in 27 to 28 to subsidise the operation cash gaps at the beginning of construction and the operation of the line. Now, representatives of the federal ministries, the departments and regions through which the railway will pass took part in the discussion of, of how the implementation of the HSR is going to affect them. Now, the governor of St. Petersburg, Alexander Belgo, said that his readiness to participate financially in the construction of the railway, mainly uh, because he can see the, the serious economic benefits that his uh, city is going to get uh, directly from them. I mean, you can see that the 600 rubles uh, in direct, billion rubles, direct funding from the federal government and the contribution of uh, the Moscow is wonderful, but obviously more needs to be done. Now, obviously, the Moscow government is uh, making sure that the implementation of the HSR1 project is integrated fully into the city's transport infrastructure with high-speed stops being uh, planned at the Leningradsky and the Petrov's the Razmuski stations, as well as uh, the Leningrad Krovsky station. Now, obviously, tens of thousands of new jobs are going to be created in uh, the areas adjacent to the high-speed railway, and the best construction and engineering resources are going to be involved in the construction of the infrastructure and trains, said uh, Putin. I mean, the quality of life of more than 30 million Ru uh, Russians is going to be improved, according to Saviev, and the creation of the high-speed routes will increase the capacity of the other railways. It's going to relieve airports and contribute to the growth of domestic tourism. I mean, 
uh, the creation of the HSR as a separate uh, passenger line is actually going to allow uh, freight traffic because St. Petersburg uh, to Bandar Abbas is part of the North-South Transportation Corridor that includes Russia, Iran and India. So you're now looking at that providing another 30 million tonnes of available track for freight uh, to transport uh, and increase the, the level of trade. Now also, the amount of uh, airline passengers going between Moscow and St. Petersburg and in reverse is going to drop dramatically because of the time that's going to... I mean, the outflow of airline passengers, they expect to be around three to four uh, million that are going to switch to the railways. So uh, the high-speed railway is going to be a major boon in time saving because you're going city to city, city centre to city centre, and you're not messing around the airways plus all the industrial clusters that are going to be involved in all the various areas. So high-speed railway in general looks like it's going to be a wonderful success and I am looking forward to taking a trip on it. Now thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, you can help me fund the channel and the website seobricksinsight.com by clicking on the thanks button at the bottom of the screen and making a donation. Thank you and I'll see you all again soon.